If getting access to high-speed internet anywhere that you go is something that's important to you, then you probably have done some research on Starlink. And you came across the Starlink Standard and the all-new Starlink Mini, and you've wondered, which one should I get? Well, I just got done doing a series of tests. I have both the Standard and the Mini mounted side-by-side -side, uh, on, on my truck here using the Veritas fans mounting systems. The Mini here has no wires whatsoever because it has our peak due battery, which provides four to five hours of uninterrupted power. No wires, no fuss. You can literally deploy this in a matter of seconds. And the standard, on the other hand, about, geez, actually just over twice the size of the Mini does not have any battery pack option for it. So what we did is we ran it into the truck here. And since it draws uh, about 48 watts, uh, it needs to have uh, more power, a better power solution for it. So I got this big uh, uh, battery pack here, and then the standard also has the router and the brick here, which is looks like it fell as I was driving. And the results were quite surprising. So both in a roam setting, we saw that the standard could actually average around 280 down and uh, around 30 up when going down the highway around 25 miles an hour. And then the Mini was actually behind it, but in close second with uh, averaging around 175 down and 23 up, both really good pings, so low latency on that. And the are both really good options for you. But again, you can't go wrong with the Mini. The size and compactability and versatility of this unit is absolutely amazing. You need, so go ahead and check us out at veritasfans.com. We are the one-stop shop for accessing high-speed internet anywhere that you go. So thank you for sticking with us and seeing how those two units perform side by side.